For a thousand years, the light of Islam spread outwards from this very place until it embraced more than 200 million people. But for too long now, the Muslim faith has been associated with materially backward and underdeveloped nations. And under the new regime in Egypt, great changes are being made. This the fountainhead of Islamic thought. If you go through the old mosque and through the chamber which was until lately used as a special school for the blind, you can see the buildings of the new university of El Azhar. And it is here that the process has already begun to change, if not the face, at least what the advertising men would call the image of Islam. In a country where affliction has always been accepted passively as the will of God, a month ago they started to build a clinic for the examination of every student. They started it on a fund amounting to just 1,500 pounds. And they're building laboratories out of packing cases and disused lavatories. So they're testing eyesight with glasses at giveaway prices. They've discovered that nearly 40% of all the students need glasses. Dental treatment, free of charge, has already begun. And new faculties are being started, many of them, which do not specialize in religion at all. Already a department of business and administration has been formed. It has now 520 students. They study, besides religious science dealing with business, accounting and checking, administration with emphasis on UAR socialism, and foreign languages, including English. Well, gentlemen, we are going to do this exercise orally. Put these sentences into the plural. Number one, this man has a golden box. Yeah. You. This man have... Raise your voice, please. This man have... These men... These men... These... These men have... Golden... Box. Boxes. Boxes. That's right. Sit down. Thank you. Now, the Department of Education and Moral Reorientation has also been started. But of all the changes now taking place at the Islamic University, perhaps the most significant of all is taking place some ten miles away from the ancient mosque. Women have been admitted, 152 of them. They study business and administration, Islamic studies, social studies, and languages. Certainly, no class privileged by religious training will be allowed to use the Muslim faith to hold up the progress of NASA's new Egypt. The new rector is no quaintly costumed sheikh, but a well-tailored sophisticate with a degree in medicine. Al-Azhar came to become a university which simply teaches Islamic knowledge. And so it gave the false conception to people that in Islam there are a class of people who can act as priests. And that is not true. In Islam there is no priesthood. And in Islam every individual is himself a priest and at the same time a man of life. Now in some underdeveloped countries at the present time, the religious experts, the kind of people who might have been trained at El Hazar, are said to be interpreting the Quran in such a way that it's hindering industrial and economic progress. Yes, of course. And it is quite natural. If such a class of priests arises, then it would be quite natural that they will stop in the way of any progress so that they will keep some power in their hand which is not in Islam at all. Had this happened actually in Egypt also as well as elsewhere? Definitely it has. But will you not be charged that religion is being made to serve the state rather than the state serve religion? As a matter of fact this is no charge because Islam is or should be and when it was brought by Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he meant it to serve the people and the people not to serve it the religion Islam is a method of life the idea of which is to give the people the best happiness in this world before they go to any other world 